this situation is becoming more common every day. We've probably got 25% of our JTBs out there that's that's in this situation. And what it is, it's a 30 amp trailer that only has one AC, and but they're wanting to install a second AC in their bedroom. And uh, you can install the second AC, but when you do that, you need to install the JTB. Now, uh, a lot of people say, well, how do you do that? Well, the way you do that is you've got to go to your existing 30 amp panel and you expand a circuit from the 30 amp panel and, and create a circuit for your second AC. And then you install the JTB and you target that circuit that you just expanded. And then what that'll do, that allows the JTBs when you go into a into a park, you plug your 30 amp into 30 amp, and then you plug your JTB into the 20, to the 20 amp GLCI, and then the JTB will run your second air conditioner, and the 30 amp will pull the trailer that it did originally. But you want to expand that 30 amp with a 20 amp circuit, and you can, some of them you can just add a 20 amp breaker but some of them don't have the expansion so when you do that you got to add a you got to add a circuit in a in a small uh, two two circuit box add your circuit in there from your main panel and uh, that's where you'll hook the JTB up and the reason you do that is if you don't plug the JTB up then you still got options we've talked about regional factory configurations uh, throughout all of these segments but that adds a factory configuration for that second AC. So you're not dead in the water if you go to a park and it only has a 30 amp and it hadn't got a 20 amp, but you're wanting to run that, uh, that air conditioner that's in the bedroom at night time. So that gives you an option by doing that one step of adding that circuit to your main panel, that gives you the option at, at night time if you only have a 30 amp at the park. And there's some out here. I know there's some in, uh, there's some in Kansas there's some in Missouri, and then there's some here in Texas, because I got a buddy that's in one, and, and he asked me about it, and he said he only had a 30 amp plug. He didn't have a 20 or nothing, just a 30. So uh, that's the option. So during the day, you run your, your air conditioner, your main air, and then during the night, you run your bedroom air, but you still run it off of just that first 30. So that's how you run the second air. Uh, but if the 20 amp GFCI is available, then that's where the JTB comes in. Then you plug the JTB up, and then that that uh, uh, powers your second AC. So, uh, like I say, we've got about 25 percent of our trailers are in this situation. They're just uh, they're 30 amp rigs that have JTBs to power that second air, and and that's very common, and it's worked great for us. We hadn't had any problems with that installation at all. So uh, again, this, this is another way that the JTB makes a trailer more efficient, more dependable, and safe. That's, that's the big deal. The JTB is safe. I hadn't talked about it, but the JTB is ETL approved to uh, UL uh, specifications. And it's not only approved in the United States, it's also approved in Canada. So that's another feature that uh, the JTB has that uh, some devices might not have. But uh, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. Now, if anybody's got any questions of how to make this install, again, it's, all you gotta do is give me a call because the installation video that we have up on our website, that is just a generic video of how to install the JTB. Now, if you vary from that type of installation, all you got to do is call me, and I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you how to do it. And um, then again, call me 903-776-2913, or email me at sales at jtbmfg.com. Thank you.